It's been pretty stale in Fortnite lately and I got to thinking, what do we gotta do to get a rejoin option in Fortnite? I mean, come on Epic, every other game has it now. Or what about Fortnite Mobile? I mean, all those players, poof, gone. These are 20 things every Fortnite player wants. And I wanna get serious for a second. These are things that might be great, but also might not be. And so I don't wanna come across like every single thing here needs to be added. Literally the entire purpose of this video is just listening to you, the viewer, and letting your voice be heard just as much as mine. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could watch the full video and I don't know, comment below what you'd like to see in game and what you wouldn't. I mean, hopefully we can inspire Fortnite a little. But coming in at number 20, we have the rejoin the match option. Starting off, we'll probably talk about one of the most requested features in Fortnite. I mean, we've been asking for it forever since the game even came out. Yes, I'm talking about the ability to reconnect to a match. And I know you're already agreeing. I mean, this is what we all want. Games crash, the internet goes down, your power cuts, the list goes on. It's happened to pretty much everyone, but please Epic, just let us reconnect into the same game we left after that happens. I mean, at the bare minimum, you can't think of many reasons why we shouldn't be able to at least have like a minute to join back. It's a pretty good solution. But next up we have number 19, Fortnite Mobile returning. So speaking of rejoining, we absolutely need Fortnite to rejoin the App Store. If you've been living under a rock, Fortnite is actually banned from Apple devices right now. You can't play it on Mac, iPad, or iPhone, and that's a pretty big deal if you didn't know. Epic actually revealed that 116 million accounts were lost because of this ban, which is a third of, well, everyone playing. That's a lot of you, and I'm sure people watching this video are furious they can't play. Now, there is a pipe dream going on with apparently GeForce Now. Apparently, you'll be able to play Fortnite Mobile through Safari. It's weird, but we'll talk about that in another video. But while iOS is clearly out of our control, we might actually have a good chance at getting... Number 18, Cypher BK's How to Win Book. So in one of Cypher PK's latest videos, he went into how Epic Games likes to change things based on the community's response in Fortnite. To take advantage of that, he then requested that Epic acknowledge him and all of us who watch his videos by adding a small item at the weather station. This would be a book named How to Win, put in a building as an Easter egg over on those snowy mountains. Cypher's an awesome dude. I mean, he's been helping out Fortnite fans even longer than I have. It'd be really cool to see a little hat tip to him, and who knows, I mean, maybe add a little controller for T5G in there, Epic. <laughs> but coming in at number 17, we have the OG map. So the biggest change in Fortnite's entire three year history has not been a weapon or a feature, but of course a complete change in the map itself. Fortnite's actual storyline has the island as the main character and for Epic to change islands, it was, it was a big decision. But was it the right one? A lot of people would say yes and a lot of others would say no, but we can all agree that being able to head back to the OG map would be insane at a time like this. And I'm not saying bring it back fully, I mean maybe if it was like an LTM, separate game mode, just the ability to play the chapter 1 map again would give us, you know, that nostalgic feeling we'd all love. I mean maybe let us use it in creative or create some kind of limited time event where we all go back to the chapter 1 map with like season 1 settings and graphics for a few weeks. I don't know, anything works, okay? Obviously we don't want it fully back permanently because we have an interesting story here on the chapter 2 map and the live events have been insane, but an LTM, that'd be perfect. But something else that would absolutely be perfect is number 16, the better upgrade benches. We would love to see some better upgrades and side grades over at the upgrade benches. I mean, everyone wants to be able to side grade the blue combat shotgun to a pump. Yeah, you still can't do that. We'd also love to see side grading a scar to, I don't know, a silent scar or a burst AR to a regular AR. Maybe even a pro fishing rod getting side graded to a harpoon gun. There's just a ton of possibilities and it'd help give us less RNG in matches. A lot of pro players want this, but a bucket load of regular players would love to see. Number 15, the Baby Yoda Back Bling. All right, if there's a single crossover that everyone wants, it's not a Quibi collab or a J Balvin concert. Get that out of here. We're all rooting for the Mandalorian to collab with Fortnite. More specifically, we want that Baby Yoda back bling. We're talking gold here, people. I mean, think about it. We got Baby Groot, we've got Rocket Raccoon. So Baby Yoda, where you at? It's like Epic are kind of teasing us with all these Disney characters. And I mean, hey, Disney Plus is doing a Fortnite promotion on November 10th. So with the, uh, the new Mandalorian season, it's a crossover I'd buy. But coming in at number 14, we have the OG patch notes. Please, Epic, we would love for updates to actually tell us what we're downloading. <laughs> Seriously though, in chapter one, Epic used to be so transparent with us and shared, well, like literally everything in the patch. I mean, we'd be able to get a ton of info so we don't miss anything. And it kind of helped us like dissect the update. But nowadays, Fortnite just drops a random update with about six hours of warning and gives us the world's tiniest patch notes, which are super vague. And I get that they don't want to spoil the update for everyone and actually make people try it out in game. But, I, you know, I, I just think a little transparency couldn't hurt. So please, Epic, that'd be awesome. And while you might be at it, I don't know, maybe consider number 13, siphon and normal game modes. 
One of the most popular things ever added to Fortnite was that of Siphon. I mean, we all remember this. It gave you 50 health for every kill, gave us better farming rates, and even 50 materials per elimination. Siphon just made the game really fun and feel way less grindy. Build battles didn't last 10 minutes because you spend less time stocking up on minis and chug splashes, whatever. A lot of us still think that bringing back Siphon will be a great and fresh change and we love to have it in regular modes, not just Arena. I like Arena and Arena's is fun, but it's just incredibly sweaty and while I like pubs, it just, like, why go for kills when you lose a ton of health every fight and you get no rewards? So that'd be cool, but on the topic of build battles, we have to mention number 12, the permanent zone wars. So earlier in chapter two, we got a really cool LTM that you might remember, it's called Zone Wars. I say might, but you, you definitely do remember it. While this was a creative map and not an actual LTM, it was one of the most played LTMs of all time. But unfortunately, it stuck to the limited time part of limited time modes and was removed too soon. I'd love to see it back, maybe even permanently as a box fight mode for Arena or something like that. But it's not the only thing we wanna see return as we move on to number 11, more concerts. So because of Epic switching the map of Chapter 2, they confirmed it actually opens up a ton of possibilities to what they could do. Live events can apparently be so much crazier with this new map and more, so my question is, wh where are they at? The only good live events we've had in the entirety of Chapter 2 were the Travis Scott event and the Doomsday device. I mean, just look at the Travis Scott concert. It was insane and pushed the boundaries of anything we've seen before. So I'd love to see more concerts like Travis's. I mean, not a party royale on a screen. All of us, especially those of you who love our storyline videos, would kill to see some more mid-season storylines. I mean, the fact that we didn't get one for season three or season one, it was a little disappointing and it kind of felt like nothing was happening, I guess. All right, remember Kevin moving around constantly in chapter one and the big eye on the map with the robot being built for the final showdown? Like the teases were amazing for the events. It felt like the buildup was part of the event itself. You'd stay tuned throughout the whole season to see what happens next, and I kind of feel like a lot of that has been lost in recent seasons. I mean, yeah, Galactus has been coming all season, but what's changed other than a 2D image in the sky? I mean, hopefully we get a huge Galactus in the next few weeks. But asking for more live events is pretty simple. Our next one is something we all want, but Epic probably won't give it to us. But let's move on to number 10, more V-Bucks. I think I could safely say that everyone wants more V-Bucks, you'd be crazy not to, but unfortunately Epic has only made them available through buying them and getting some in the battle pass. A lot of players have suggested that we could earn V-Bucks through wins or playtime or even as rewards for special event challenges like they do in Save the World. Daily login bonuses would be amazing too, like XP boosts and V-Bucks every few months. But uh, moving on, let's talk about number nine, bosses HP bars. This one is quite a simple request, but I know so many of us want to see updates to the bosses in Fortnite, so I'd give it a shot. I'd love to see Wolverine, Iron Man, Doctor Doom, everyone be given an HP bar. Again, it's very simple, but would really help us figure out how much health is left, and I don't know, good quality of life update. Another simple addition would be number eight, Spike Traps. So a lot of people want Spike Traps to come back so badly, especially because now we have no counter to someone rushing a box. I mean, maybe don't bring back the traps at 150 damage, but 75, 100 just might work. And it also wouldn't cause my builds to go up in flames every single time TTV Timmy gets in my box and I gotta use the flame trap. But coming in at number seven, we have 100% chest spawn. One of the most confusing and random changes of the last few seasons has been the removal of 100% chest spawns. For some reason, Epic got rid of this in season three and it's easily one of the worst changes to Fortnite we've had in a while. It makes the game feel extremely random and we just want chests to always spawn again because I swear I get killed off the spawn like 10 times now more than ever. And while it wouldn't be that hard to add, this next one would. Let's move on to number six, practicing while matchmaking. In tournaments, queue times can be super long and other games like Overwatch and Rocket League let you play around in a practice mode or a target range while you wait. It would be a really amazing feature if you're waiting for some friends to join or there's long queue times. It'd also be great for practicing those edits and builds while you queue up. And that brings us to number five, new reboot vans. So when Epic took the idea for reboot vans from Apex Legends, it was a pretty refreshing way to bring back your teammates in Fortnite, but it needs change. A lot of players, including us, would definitely prefer a different kind of way to respawn. I mean, maybe we should get some sort of way to come back like the Gulag and Warzone, or maybe letting us reboot our teammates without needing a card. There's so many different ways to look, and I know those aren't the best, but just doing something with the reboot vans would make it feel a lot better. I mean, who knows, maybe a mythic that could revive your friend without a reboot card? Like, that'd be insane in game. But speaking of pro players, move on to our final four with number four, an actual ranking system. 
So almost every popular shooter game has an actual rank system out there like CSGO, League, Overwatch, even Valorant. Meanwhile, Fortnite is kinda still lacking with how weak Arena is. I would really love to see an actual ranking system with actual competitive modes. Points just don't feel good, but getting a real badge with a rank would make it feel a lot better. I don't know, random idea. But anyways, coming in at number three, we have vending machines. I think it's safe to say that vending machines should return. They were vaulted for chapter two and have been seen in replay mode and more, but they should come back. I personally don't feel they were broken at all. I mean, they'd help you get a good loadout and it was a fair trade for materials. A massive amount of players loved the vending machines and Epic unfortunately removed them. I'm sure they had good reasons, but hey, I would like to reopen the conversation. Hope we see them return someday, but our second to last on our wish list we have, number two, custom crosshairs. So a bunch of Fortnite players have been asking for custom crosshairs for years. I mean, you could already make them in creative mode and so many other games have them like CSGO and Overwatch. Having custom crosshairs would really help us out and let people customize their experience a lot more. I mean, come on Epic, we deserve it. But if it's choosing between this and our number one spot, number one 100% and that is a 1v1 playlist. The community has wanted a 1v1 playlist since Playground first came out. 1v1s are one of the most popular custom modes in Fortnite and a 1v1 playlist would be so popular. I mean, imagine if you could just practice your skills by having back-to-back -back 1v1 rounds against people. It would help with that skill curve so much. And I know that there are a lot of 1v1 maps and creative and stuff like that, but a real official playlist would actually encourage the general player base to do it, you know? But that's all we have for you today. Let me know in the comments if you disagree or agree with what we have to share. I'd love to know. But this has been Tommy, and you're watching Top 5 Gaming.